Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about layers of ignorance. Read this email, or I'm sorry, this was a response off of our YouTube channel. Spend a few uh, seconds here and read that. You can see pretty much everything I've been saying about the industry itself and the technology inside the industry. So diaphragmatic absorption is the most powerful of the three main types of low frequency absorption. Hemholtz, membrane, and diaphragmatic. Hemholtz is frequency specific, narrow bands, and you need a lot of them. So they're a tuning device, they're not a treatment. And membrane is the cousin to diaphragmatic. It goes low, but it doesn't get enough. This goes low and gets enough. So it's got everything those other two don't. I just don't understand why people don't get that. Okay, but that's critical to understand that. They mentioned, uh, the gentleman mentions knowledge for free. It wasn't a choice. I had to. Because... The belief systems that people were working on were 30, 40, 50 years old and full of half-truths, hyperbole, and exaggeration. No science behind 90% of it. They prey upon the ignorance of the people. That's what they do. They, and they did me too. I bought the stuff, put it in my projects when I was a real estate developer. Disappointment? Constantly. I was like, this is an industry that sells products that perform this poorly? How does it even survive? And it's weird because people just get used to that kind of non-performance. And you see it in studios. I mean, you see certain companies foam everywhere, even though it's got a horrible curve. It's amazing that they're able to get away with this kind of stuff. But they do, for lack of other choices. Well, we're the other choice. We can help you with the truth. Snake oil, he mentions that in there. We get that a lot. Uh, it's kind of funny because <laughs> it's a term used by the uninformed. You say diaphragmatic absorption is snake oil? You're a fool. Because diaphragmatic absorption has been around for 60 years. It's in your house. It's in the building you're in now. If you're in a wood-framed building and there's an interior wall dividing the rooms, that's a diaphragmatic absorber. Duh. So when you call something that's been around 60 years as proven science snake oil, you're an idiot. That's the bottom line, okay? We have three sound fields, right? I constantly preach on this because this is so important. You have to view the room. Correctly, we got this problem, sidewall to sidewall, floor to ceiling, and don't forget about the length. They all have different frequency and amplitude issues. Sidewall, sidewall is different than floor to ceiling. Floor to ceiling is different than length. Length is different than sidewall to sidewall. It's a mess. That's why it's so hard to get a room to sound right. Because you got three variables that you consider, and each one of those variables has numerous frequency and amplitude possibilities. Well, two, six, if you want to get technical, but there's lots of them. And you have to address each one. You can do it, but you need broadband absorption, not frequency specific, and you need broadband absorption that gets enough, which membrane doesn't. Only this guy does. We didn't create diaphragmatic. We just hot-rotted it. Put two front walls out of phase to slow the pressure wave down. Put an internal cabinet fill activated charcoal that reduces the pressure. It's a pressure wave. When it goes into a cabin that has lower pressure, it collapses. It's not that hard to figure out. All right. Three sound fields. Don't forget those. Pressure and reflections. Building insulation lacks the horsepower. It lacks the rate of absorption. It can get level, it can go low. You know, you can build a 40 Hertz box with building insulation, but you're not gonna get enough of it. And that's the problem, okay? 
And that goes back to this right here. It's a half truth. Yeah, it can go down to 40, but it won't get much. So what good is it? And this is the, a good example of the, the half truths and hyperbole and the exaggeration in the business. If it only works half the time, what good is it? It's got to work all the time, predictably and consistently. It's a sad state of affairs sometimes that you have to struggle against. But all, when I my head fills with all the nonsense, I just go into my uh, different rooms that I have here in my studio and press the play button. It all goes away. Layers of ignorance. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.